Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh Which means May peace, blessings and Mercy of Allah Be on all of you Hi, my name is Khalil I'm going to give you a review Of a TP-Link router It is TP-Link TLWR940N It is 300 meters in range And the problem with it is that it has the same IP address as of the ADSL modem that we have in our review today. So, in configuration of this TP-Link wireless router with an ADSL modem, which has the same IP address as the router, you have to use some specific procedures, which we are going to teach you in our review today. The first thing you're going to do is uh, plug in the power supply of the TP-Link wireless router just the way it's done. The second thing you do is insert an Ethernet cable, insert one end of that cable in one of the serving ports of the wireless router as it's done. The next thing you do is connect the second, uh, the other end of the Ethernet cable into the LAN connection of your computer. Then you're going to open up your computer. Then, if you have Windows 7, you're just simply going to go to the system tray, and in that system tray, you are going to click on the icon which says no internet access and it opens um, an option open network and sharing center you can also do this in windows xp uh, by going to the control panel and i don't know networks or something like that it's written in the windows xp control panel now um, when i've pressed this um, uh, open network and sharing center now in Windows, uh, window has opened in which uh, you go over here it says local area connection no internet access you click over the local area connection the procedure is similar in Windows XP you just have to use your mind a little bit but in Windows 7 I'm going to teach you so when you click on the local area connection it opens local area connection status you go to the properties and you click on the internet protocol version 4 TCP IP v4 you double click over that it opens a properties menu or window sorry in these properties you are going to enter as I say in the IP address, uh, first of all, you have to check the radio button of use the following IP address. It will be on automatic. You're going to shift it to use the following IP address. You are going to enter this information over here. The IP address will be 192.168.1.8 and you're going to enter the subnet mask over here as 255.255.255.0 then you're going to enter the default gateway that is 192.168.1.1 that is the default gateway of your ADSL modem that is the same so we have changed the IP address of the wireless router over here so that it will work now. Then you come to the preferred DNS server. You're going to enter 203.99.163.240 and you're going to enter the alternate DNS server as 202.125.132.12 or you can consult your own ADSL um, technician 
who installed the ADSL connection in your computer to actually give you the right um, to actually give you the right information to enter in these areas. Uh, after the information is entered, you're going to press OK and then OK again and then close and then close everything. Then you're going to open your internet browser. In the address bar, you are going to enter the IP address of your wireless router that is 192.168.1.1. Then a small window will open which will ask you for your username and password. So you are going to enter both things as admin. Username is admin. Uh, as well as the password is admin a d m i n same for the password enter now you uh, a page will be displayed in which you are going to do nothing other than go to the dhcp in this uh, in the left uh, menu then uh, you are going to disable the DHCP server as I've already done and do nothing else just nothing else at all save it says the router will reboot okay no it says the function won't take effect until the router reboots so you click OK then you go to the menu again you go to the last system tools In the system tools submenu, you're going to press reboot, and a reboot button displays. You're going to click that button, and it says, "I show you want to reboot." Okay. Now the uh, the router is restarting. You are going to wait for a while. Okay, the router is restarting. All right, that's already restarted. So now it's complete. The configuration is absolutely complete. Close everything. Uh, you have to disconnect the Ethernet cable from your computer that you have previously inserted. The same end of the Ethernet cable you are going to enter in your ADSL modem Ethernet port. Then switch on your DSL modem and start the internet. Hopefully this will work. The other end of the internet cable is in the same port, serving port. Okay, that's the end of the review. Thank you for watching. Take care and Asalaamu Alaikum.